Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of finance. You are watching Finance Concepts with Nikhil. My friends, today we have decided to take up an important topic for our discussion that is hedging with stock futures. Let us first crack this term hedging with stock futures. Hedging is the process of minimizing the risk and stock futures is what we are going to use as a means to achieve the hedging objective. So hedging is the objective and stock futures is the means through which we will achieve our objective. But let us first understand what is this all about. Imagine my friends that you have made investments. You have invested your money in stock market and stock markets may not always show a good indication of growth, growth and growth. There may be bad times. There may be times of decline and just imagine that you have made an investment and you are now expecting that instead of price growing as you expected earlier, the price is now expected to decline. Somebody might say, okay, fine. If the price is expected to decline, simply sell off your investment, get rid of it. But my friends, that is definitely a way for someone. But if you have invested with a long term perspective, you don't want to frequently buy and sell. You don't want to enter into short term trading. You have made an investment. So the idea is what you have made investment in stock market and now you are expecting the price of the stock to decline and you don't want to sell the stock. Mark my words, you don't want to sell the stock. You want to hold the stock, but still you would want to avoid the loss that can arise due to the expected decline. So what can be done for safeguarding yourself, safeguarding your investments in such a case? The answer to this is hedging with stock futures. Derivatives help you to hedge your position of investment in stock market. How can we minimize the expected loss or how can we eliminate the expected loss through stock futures is what we are going to learn in this video. So let us understand this whole thing by taking an example. So now consider that the investor who has invested his money in the stock market is expecting a decline. That means the investor has bearish sentiments about the stock. So just imagine that the price of the stock, the current price of the stock is rupees 490 right now. And so what you find over here, this is the current price of the stock and you are expecting a decline and price of the stock might fall to this level. And this is the price that is expected after three months from now. So from here to here, it is not a past trend. It is the expectation of the shareholder, expectation of the investor and the price that is expected to decline over next three months is rupees 420. So whatever is priced at rupees 490 now, if that is expected to drop to 420, the investor is definitely expecting a loss of rupees 70. Now the idea is to continue to hold the stock, not to sell the stock, continue to hold the stock and still knock off that loss of rupees 70. How can this be done through stock futures? That is what we are trying to understand. So here let us first go to the fundamental concept of pricing the futures contract. We have learned in earlier videos that if we are given a current market price of the stock by adjusting the interest element, we can determine the futures price. That is what should be the futures price. We can determine, we can calculate what we call as fair futures price. So if the price of the stock currently is rupees 490, adjusting the interest element, obviously the futures price is going to be little higher than 490. Imagine that it is going to be 500. So what can be done to hedge your loss? What can be done to eliminate this expected loss is simply enter into a futures contract. Entering into futures contract with what position? Now obviously here you are expecting a decline and in a declining market, how do we trade in futures? We have learned in a declining market, we should always take short position in the futures contract. 
so the moment you take a short position in the futures contract and if the price of the share actually declines the way you are expecting obviously you are going to make a gain out of that falling price now that gain in the futures will offset the loss in the stock holding so whatever loss that you are expecting 490 of today becoming 420 after three months if this is your expectation which is resulting into expected loss of rupees 70 then do not worry take a futures contract enter into a futures contract of that same stock where the futures price is quoted in the market say as rupees 500 and now with that futures price of 500 you take a short position in this futures contract which will give you eligibility to sell the stock at 500 after three months and what we have learned earlier no matter what happens to the stock price after three months if you have entered into a futures contract with a short position and priced as 500 you will be eligible to sell the stock at 500 and in cash rupees 500 so practically we don't want to sell the stock but what will happen taking a short position in the futures contract is definitely going to provide you gain and that gain will offset the loss that we are expecting in the share so friends keep paying attention on the screen and I'll show you some more details about how exactly this would function so what we have just considered is a fact that a three month futures contract on the same stock is quoted at rupees 500 that means we have a stock which has a current market price of rupees 490 and in the derivative market the futures contract of that same stock over a three month is quoted at rupees 500 so what we just have to do to avoid this loss we would enter into this futures contract with a short position at this quoted price of 500 so entering into this contract with a short position will result in a wealth of rupees 500 after three months again and again repeatedly I'm telling you the moment you enter into this contract with a short position it will give you eligibility to sell the share at rupees 500 irrespective of the prevailing price at that point of time as a result in the futures market you have entered into the contract entered into a futures contract with a short position of 500 and on the settlement if the price actually turns to be 420 on settlement of the futures contract you would be making a gain of 500 minus 420 that is rupees 80 so gain on futures contract will offset this stock price and gain on that futures contract will be rupees 80 this rupees 80 of gain will offset this loss of rupees 70 all right friends we know one thing very well that there is so much to learn in the field of derivatives and don't worry I am there to help you out let us you and me all together we take up our responsibilities my responsibility is to continue to push videos like this which can update your knowledge about derivatives and other concepts of finance and you definitely possess a responsibility your responsibility is to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to that and to do that after subscribing to my channel please turn on the notification bell so that you get continuous notification about which video I am uploading next thank you so much for watching this video